women are the primary activity planners in the house. That's okay. Pew Research. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> they also make the majority of uh, major consumer spending decisions. So you pair all those things together, and it's a it's a prime opportunity for our industry to connect with moms, to engage with moms, and showcase how fishing can be a fun family activity and break down some of those barriers that it has to be like an all guys trip offshore. It could be, right, yeah. let's go for a picnic in the park and bring the fishing rods. And that's one activity we do that day. You know, we need to appeal to women and to moms specifically on how this can fit into their lives. That's a great point. Yeah, so I'm not alone, I guess, right? No, <laughs> you are not alone. There, there's a lot of women out there with the same issue. I don't know if that's something that marketing departments um, at say at a manufacturing um, organization, you know, do, are there marketing and social media folks thinking about how to market a new product to a mom who might have that influence or that buying power, you know, to kind of get their kids or get their families out doing activities? Um, is that something that folks could maybe think about with this campaign that they could be incorporating that? Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, I want to acknowledge I'm I think it's hard for people who have been selling to a particular demographic for a long time and knowing that that sale is there to shift, sure. to shift gears. But I would encourage folks to even test it. Do a test campaign. You That's might be idea. surprised at how well it performs. Mm -hmm. um, but really, really use the research. We have a lot of research you can find on the RBFF website. Mm -hmm. Test it and then roll it out. It's, it's worth a shot. We see a huge, tremendous opportunity to engage more women in the activity.